What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Dab. And yes, you are welcome in my home. Actually, you're welcome in my kitchen that's in my home. Well, I told you earlier that we were going to make a meal. And you know, today's meal is tuna salad. So, the theory, okay, let's get into it. You're at home. You want to make some tuna salad. You know that making some great bomb tuna salad is preparing the noodles. A lot of people like their noodles, you know, the elbow noodles, whether it's, whether it's white, wheat, whatever, you know. Um, but you, you ain't got nothing. Let's say you ain't got nothing. And you're like, dang, what can I use? Because we're supposed to be quarantining, right? We're supposed to be staying home. Um, and we don't want to risk going to the store just for some noodles because somebody may be sick at the store. We don't know. And somebody might not be wearing their mask on the way. So we look in our refrigerator and we see that we got some good old cauliflower, okay? This is so good. I love good cauliflower. You can absolutely make almost everything with cauliflower from what um, cauliflower mac and cheese, um, cauliflower bread, cauliflower pizza. I mean, well, that, you can even use this as a meat supplement, okay? Get you some jackfruit. You can do that as well. But today it's the tuna salad. So what we're going to do is go over here and we're going to rinse off this cauliflower like so like this because I don't buy anything that I can't rinse off, okay? Even if it's a bag of chips, especially with everything going off, I'm rinsing off that bag, okay? Because somebody else can touch that bag before I didn't grab it. And so what we're going to do now, I already got my water boiling. You don't want that much water in this pot because, you know, you want this to steam. Okay? If it gets too mushy, you're doing it wrong and you're adding too much water. You don't want that. So, you don't need this pot. I don't even think you can eat that pot. I wouldn't even try it. So, we're going to um, get that on out of there. Okay? We can even, we don't even need the knife for that. Or no. We can just go ahead and rip that off. So what's going to end up happening is, is I'm going to let this soften up a little bit so I can break this up, okay? We want to break this up. I probably won't use this whole thing because I want to use some of this to end up making my cauliflower bread, okay? Because I, I want to make me a nice tuna sandwich, okay? I really do. I, I can't, at the moment, I'm not doing no bread, no pasta, you know? anything of that nature so we're gonna get that in here I think that's about it maybe like just a little bit more because we don't need that much to make a bread because I'm only gonna make about um maybe like a nice little bread sandwich just for me because I'm even with the cauliflower um being the base of the bread if I was to make a sandwich I don't want to continue to eat that like that okay so what we're gonna do Let's boil this in our pot like that, like so. It kind of look like noodles a little bit, kind of give you popcorn at the same time, but, you know, 
We don't need this. We definitely don't need that. Okay, so we're going to end up letting that simmer. So what I like to do, just to give my um, water some flavor, I like to add a little pepper. And that might be a lot of pepper, but I really like pepper. We're not going to add the paprika or nothing yet, you guys. Okay? But this is just a tip, okay? So use what you got in your house to make a meal, okay? I should be showing you how to do the ramen noodles if you got that. You know, you can make a nice little thing out of that as well, but you don't need that much salt. Just a little bit, just a pinch. And what we're going to do, y'all, is we're going to let that simmer. I'm about to rinse my hands off, I want you to see, because you're going to end up having to touch other things. Okay, you just want to make sure that you rinse that off. And by the way, I washed my hands before we did this video. I definitely should have um, showed that on the video. But, you know, I am a clean person. I like to be. Alright, so while this is, let me rinse this off one more time. So everything you see from me, you guys, is very raw. It's very real. There ain't no editing. There is no cutting stuff out. Blah, blah, blah. And as you can see how the cauliflower is getting, it's, it's still white, but it's, it's getting dark. It don't look like this pale white that you see right here. You see the difference? Um, so we want to keep this one high, okay? Because like I said, you can boil it. You can um, broil it, however you do. You can also put this in the oven. Um, to do it that way, just make sure you add a little bit of water, maybe like a little bit of butter to it. Uh, you know, water and oil, you don't mix it. Don't add no olive oil with no water and um, put it in the tray in the pan. Just get a little slices of the butter, place it in certain areas, season it up, put it in there. You'll have like a roasted cauliflower thing going on. And if you um, want to wait for that to cool off that way, you most definitely can do that as well. Okay? Um... You, yeah, you most definitely can do that as well, and actually you can put that in your tuna. Now, you do know that that's going to take a longer time for your tuna to get cold. But if you're that type of person that's like you like a good um, temp, room temperature um, tuna salad or maybe like a tuna meal, that's your thing. I won't be eating what you cook because I don't like that um, hot, you know. And I think it makes you use the bathroom in ways you don't want to use the bathroom. So I like my stuff cold, okay? My tuna and everything has to be cold, hands down. Don't feed me no tuna. That ain't cold. Alright? So, what we're using for our basis today as we're waiting for our little cauliflower, which won't take long at all, because remember, we don't want to kill all the nutrients in this, and we definitely do not want to make this turn into mush, because if you ever cook broccoli and it got mushy, that's exactly what cauliflower will end up doing, doing because it is uh, broccoli based. So, black pepper, is what you use when you always make into tuna salad. Um, we're going to use our Old Bay seasoning because the tuna fish, come on now, get your seasoning up in here. We're going to use a little bit of onion powder. Now, I like onion powder the best because I don't like actual onions being chopped up in my tuna. I mean, I can go for celery, but onions just take me out of this world, and then I don't want the sandwich anymore. Okay, we're supposed to use, like, parsley, but we're going to, um... Hit it up with some Italian seasoning. You can use this too, which is also a great base um, to use if you don't have no parsley. Hell, it's the same thing. Excuse me. Um, just a tad bit of salt. You know, just a tad bit of salt. We don't want too much salt in anything. Because not only are we trying to watch what we eat and be healthy, you know, we want to make sure our insides are healthy as well with that, um, you know, high cholesterol in your heart and everything. All right, we're in, a, we're in a pandemic where we have to really take charge of ourselves and our bodies. And if you're good to your body, your body will be good to you. And it's never too late. It is never too late to get back on that bandwagon to show your heart, your body, your blood, your brain, them T cells that help you fight off infections, you know, some love so that body of yours can show you some love as well. So we're going to keep it going. We got our mustard. Now, I like regular mustard, which is yellow mustard. Some people like that Dijon. Some people like that spicy mustard. Some people like that mustard I never heard, heard of and it's disgusting. I like Hellman's mayonnaise, even though I don't like mayonnaise at all. If you had to cook the tuna salad, it would be Hellman um, mayonnaise because 
it's real mayonnaise, you know, it's not that Miracle Whip type stuff that people like to whip up. I'm not going to say who likes to do that, but I don't like to do that. And if that's how you cook, then don't tell me because I probably won't eat it after I know the ingredients. Um, um, basically, okay, so we're getting there, y'all. We are truly getting there with our stuff. I wish, um, okay, so as you can see how brittle and hard this is right here, right? Ooh, um, this is actually, it's actually breakable now. It, it really is. So, what I'm going to do is get in there while it's hot, y'all. That's why I continue to use the knife because we don't want to use a spatula. Well, I don't like to use a spatula. And you don't want to use, like, um, a spoon or anything because you can just chop this up like this, like that, so that you can get exactly what it is you was trying to get without actually smushing your cauliflower, okay? So, that's good. Uh, Throw that around. We don't want to do that any more than what we did. And we want to turn this off now. We want this off, right? We want this off. So we're going to turn this off. We're going to take our drainer. Some people say strainer. I say drainer because it's draining. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to uh, make sure that I tell people because it got holes in it, you need to make sure you rinse the front and the back. And please, when you're washing this, that you're washing the whole entire thing. Otherwise, I don't know what to say. So, I got this on cold. Don't mind my water, it's a little retarded. Okay? So, I got that on cold. What I'm going to do before I do that is I'm going to take my. That cauliflower smells good. Get into the smell of this. Smell that. You smell that? Mmm, mmm. Get into all that. That's some good cauliflower. Taste just a little bit. Hold on, hold on. It's hot. All right. All right. So, what we're going to do now. Ooh, mix that hot water with that cold water. But we need this because we're straining. We're straining. I need a little spoon or something. We're going to use this little thing right here. You know, get the rest of this stuff out. Because we need everything, okay? Now, the more cauliflower you use, you're going to put that back on the stove like so, like that. Okay? And we're going to... Now, I'm going to tell you, this is going to get cold. It's going to get cold quick. This is going to get cold quick. I need a little bowl. I should have got a bigger bowl. Okay, hold on. Keep staying in my, um, my cold cauliflower. But we're going to get it too. I like the glass bowl. Okay, so we're going to get our glass bowl. Move it to the side because remember, you got to make sure you're healthy and you ain't dropping no nastiness into your stuff. And you just want to rinse that off. Anything you take out your house, I don't care if it's clean. You shouldn't care if it's clean. You know it's clean, but rinse it off because it's sitting. Okay? Everything I cook, everything I like to do, I like to do it from the stove base because I like to keep it in my mind that we're, we're making stuff. We don't really want to add. We, and then you know the cleaning process is ridiculous. So you want to make sure you keep everything together. And if you're cooking with just more than one person, everybody don't need to cook because everybody can't cook. So therefore, somebody can wash the dishes as you're going along. You get what I'm saying? I said I wasn't going to use my high-pitched voice because we're in the house. And you know, my high-pitched voice when I'm all talking on high is natural. But you know, that's more of my dramatic side. That's more of my characteristic that brings out the dime in me. I have different personalities. You got Carlos, you got Dime, you got the singer in me, that's voice mouth. You got Dino, which is a little shy. You got Denzel, who has the business mindset. But you got me today, and I'm that boy. Dime, which is Dime's twin. But I'm going simmer, I'm a simmer down just a little bit because I don't want to give you that dramatic natural effect today. So what we're gonna do is end up I'm going to tone it down, okay? Tone it down like if we was cooking. You, you see that switch? You hear that voice that went down with this potato? Okay. I got I to gotta play with you all for a little bit while I'm trying to get this stuff together. Okay, okay. So if you're cooking or, or you prepping, whatever you're doing, you're prepping for multiple people, this is just for me because my brother, his girlfriend, my cousin and them, they're not really into all this, um, um, natural healthy stuff um, when it comes to um, vegetables or eating it raw or eating it half, um, you know, cooked or steamed and stuff. But that's all me, okay? So this for me. And this gonna last about um, at least lunch and dinner. So 
Um, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Oh, it's cold now, y'all. When I tell you this sucker is cold. This sucker right here is ice. Okay? So we don't need no more of that water. Thank you, water. Thank you, natural water. H2O that's given to us. I don't care if it's tap water. Guess what? If we ain't got no more waters in the stores because we got crazies out here trying to bath everything like they got it like, you know, like they're a billionaire. I'm going to have me some tap water just boiling on the stove. You get what I'm saying? Clean that sucker up right with the heat. And I'm going to freeze it in the freezer and I'm going to drink that sucker. I'm always going to have some free water now. All right. Um, okay. So, 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 just like that. Now, I told y'all, I done told y'all that I was cheating today because I didn't want to keep running around looking for stuff when it came to, um, this tuna, these cans of tuna, okay? So, I went to Harris Teeter and I got me some tuna. Um, that was already made. Now the tuna is still bland though. That's why I like this tuna because they're not with all that. Put that spicy, nicey, you know, none of that stuff in there. Because at the end of the day, you can still whip it up and make it your own. So I like to do mine this way. I was going to add crab meat in it since we're doing, this is something for like, maybe like pescatarians can eat this. Especially if they like on some type of pescatarian diet. That's exactly what I'm trying out for this week. Um, and if I like it, it may continue to go on. So, I want to add, the salt is done, y'all. Done? Okay. Okay, the salt may not be done. This, this, this is what I say with the salt. Because you don't need the salt. Like that. Throw it away. Okay? Cauliflower. Your noodles. Whatever you want to call it. Cauliflower, your noodles. You're going to add that up in there. Come on, baby. Get into it. Get into this cauliflower that's looking like some noodles mixed with some onions that's mixing like it's um about to be ground up into some mashed potatoes. You better come on, won't he do it? Yes, he will. That's why I went to church all the time. And when I ain't got no church to go to, I praise him in my house. Walking down the street. I was about to start singing after. Anyway, we're going to add our spice. So our spices, we got uh, what we say this was obey. Oh my God, we knew it was obey, but my mind slipped me. Then we're gonna use our pepper because we gotta do it right now because we're adding tuna here. So you want the base to have that. Um, or you can use whatever you want. It's your tuna salad, but this one mine, so it's my business, and I want to um use the seasonings I want to use. Now, if you want to add paprika, like I said earlier, um, that's your business. Um, I like paprika. Um, chili powder is a little, little too much for me. I like chili powder, but not in my tuna salad. Okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Okay. So, we're going to add a little bit of this mustard. Not too much, because I want tuna salad that's kind of eggshell white. You know what I'm saying? Because tuna salad is not really white because the tuna is pink. Um, and we're going to add some of our mayonnaise. Okay, did I read it? Boop. Okay. <laughs> okay, move, move, get. Okay. All right, y'all. We're going to get a spoon. Remember, let's continue to wash it off. I like to tell people, I don't want this one. I didn't like that one, y'all. It's too small. Um, we're going to continue to rinse it off. Make sure you rinse it off in hot water because hot water heat kills the germs. We ain't got that much mayonnaise, y'all, so I'm not going to use too much of this mayonnaise because I'm pretty sure somebody in the house wants the mayonnaise. And you don't need that much anyway. You see that? You see that? So, like, so, like that. Like, so, like that. Got it from my girl's ham. Um, um, dang, dang, I'm so focused. I can't remember the name. I'm sorry. We're going to leave this just like that, okay? Keep holding that like that. Keep holding that like that because I got to get my already made too. Now, don't judge me, y'all, because I haven't ate dinner. And today, for lunch, I had an actual salad with tuna. And I had to eat just a little bit of the tuna because it's sweet. And I liked it, and I wanted to eat some. But, um, okay. So, because it's my tuna, and I'm not putting, I'm using all of it, I can take this spoon with all this gunk on it, and like so, like that. Okay? But if you're cooking for people, and you know... You don't know they're allergic to stuff. Don't be adding all this spices and all this stuff. And they eggs, eggs. Are you having a um dinner party? Put it on the flyer. What you allergic to? DM me. Let me know so that you won't get sued. Okay. Now I don't get sued because I cook for everybody and everybody I cook for eat my spices 
whether they're allergic or not. We got Benadryl. Okay. Put some more um, Obey because I like it salty. I like mine salty. We might have to add just a little bit more mayonnaise y'all because we be putting this blend up in here. Do you see this? Do you see this creation that I am creating that's been created but I was able to create it today? Amen. 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 Won't he do it? Hallelujah. All right, let's continue to get up in it. Now, I don't want to, like I said, okay, too much mustard. We're not going to do no mustard. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We did not add our uh, Italian season. I'm not Italian, but I like it. You get me? Not Italian. Did we add our onion powders in the beginning? Okay, hold on. We need some taste testers, but this is my food. So, therefore, this mouth won't taste test this. Oh, look at that blend. Okay, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Now, remember I told y'all I ain't like no wet tuna? I don't like no wet tuna. I don't like no wet tuna. Because the only time the tuna needs to be wet, the only time the tuna needs to be wet when you add that mustard and when you add in that, um... What you call it when you're adding that uh, mayonnaise? Helmets, if you're if you if you're real with it, okay. If you're not real with it, you don't get that mayo. That's your choice, but that just shows me that you're fake. Um, just kidding. It's all for laughs. It's all for laughs. Now you see how I blended that in there, but the seasoning don't didn't get too wrapped up into this. That's good because you want to add more seasoning towards the end. Okay, but not right now because this is just my mixing bowl. Okay, people like to serve um, with the same bowl that they mix their stuff in. But you see all that gunk on the side and stuff like that. If this was a bigger bowl, I'd probably be like, okay, I'm not gonna switch this bowl. But because it's small, I'm gonna switch it. You get what I'm saying? This is gonna be some bomb tuna salad. We're gonna say bomb cauliflower tuna salad. Uh, 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 uh. Bam, baby. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm. Cooking with dime. That boy dime. Okay, get it right. Okay. Y'all probably wonder how you get the name dime. I got the name dime because my actual name is Diamond. My mother said I was her ace, her spade, her pride, and her joy. And I am also her diamond, her number one. They also said they had a diamond shaped head and all that stuff. But it's okay. Let's get into it. That's why I got the dreadlocks so we wouldn't see that big old rock. But they say diamond cut glass. So I'm cutting these. Alright, can't say the other word I wanted to say, but I think we just might need just a tad bit of mayonnaise, but this time we're going to use it with this. Oh, can't use that, okay. Um, we're going to use a different spoon, y'all. Oh, just maybe a fork, maybe a fork. Okay, don't forget to rinse it all, but, okay, because I said I want it to be a little white, like an extra white. It's still giving me salmon, even though this is tuna. Okay, um, use a little bit more of this. Now, people are like, dang, you sorting that thing up. But come on now, look at me, look at me. If this was a seafood broil, your butt would be sautéing, seasoning every single inch from inside to out, even the shell that your butt can't even eat. And you be seasoning it. So I'm going to season this because guess what? Guess what? This is my business. So, we're going to keep it going. Just a tad bit more mustard because I like it a little Sour. Oh, you know what, y'all? You know what? I should have thought about this. And look at me. I should, we should have got some um, relish. Some relish. Okay, maybe next time. Maybe next time. But today, I just wanted to show y'all how y'all do it, okay? Now, okay, get into this tuna. Get into this. Now, you don't want to add too much of the cauliflower because now come on now cauliflower is still cauliflower and it's still going to have this one to make it look like it's tuna salad and i probably could have used a lot more of the cauliflower but as you can see you see them up in there it kind of looks like crab salad now but it's okay because when i tell you it's going to be good it's going to be good so we can go ahead and scoop that like this like that because this is my bowl for work Okay, this is my bowl for work. I'll probably take a little of bowl tomorrow. And as you can see, my cauliflower sprouting through there. Because mm, I couldn't even say that word right. It's sprouting through. It is sprouting through. I probably cook some more cauliflower 
so that I can add it. But then again, like I said, you don't need that much. You really don't need that much. And it kind of looks like I put eggs in this now with the cauliflower. Let me get... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Mm, 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 mm. This mouth, I can do that. I'm not sharing with nobody, so I thought I was. I was going to try to get some taste testers. But I tasted it. It's good. Your cauliflower. Oh my god. It, mm, good, mm. Cauliflower really, really tastes like noodles with a kick. Not crunchy, not so spongy a little bit. Exactly how we want it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, this is just with decoration now, because we're just trying to, now we're trying to make it look pretty now. You do what you want. You say what you want. But don't come for me and my new homemade mm, tuna salad. Cauliflower tuna salad. All right, y'all. I'm your boy, Dan, and I want you to continue to check out all the Sasha Bruce lives that we are doing every single day because we care about you and we love you and we want you to know we are always here but i'm about to put this in the refrigerator because um and i'm gonna fight myself to save this for lunch tomorrow and hopefully for dinner because i can probably get like an actual salad to eat the rest tomorrow for dinner but low carb and everything i oh my god oh my god i want to thank my um brother for being my cameraman and baby, I am out. Mwah.